it offers us a lot of flexibility in uh, manufacturing signs with short notice, short runs, uh, different messages, etc. So here I downloaded a, a file from uh, the, the road authorities website and uh, I've just changed it so it will fit to uh, print in the, uh, in the traffic yet. And now it's ready to download into the uh, RIP software. So now you can see the print is starting uh, approximately five minutes after we sent it from the software. Now you can see the sign face coming out of the machine, including crop marks and everything. Um, obviously you're very curious when it comes out, so you make a visual check to see that everything's okay. If we compare to how we had to work in order to have those kind of sign faces made prior to the traffic yet, then we obviously had to screen print it and the process of getting where we are now in 15-20 minutes would be at least a day or two. So it's very very different, it's totally different. When you print sign faces, other print colors than black, you need to over laminate it. So step one is printing, step two is over laminating and step three obviously cutting it. So now we're in the next step of the process, which means uh, over laminating. Uh, the traffic yet, uh, well, sign faces printed on the traffic yet needs to be over laminated unless they only have been printed with the black print. You have the laminate up here, which folds up, so the waste rolls up here. You put the material in here on a roll or a sheet, depending on how it is, and it comes out here uh, with the laminate on. And as we said before, laminating takes no time whatsoever compared to printing. When you load the machine or you load the media, you just need to make some minor mechanical adjustments and then you do the rest uh, on the screen. Then you need to find the uh, first crop mark with the camera. And when it's green, you press enter and hopefully it will find the remaining crop marks automatically. There we go.